Alex here, public service announcement. These are some beautiful berries, wouldn't you say? Look at how beautiful these are. They're really beautiful. They're so beautiful that everybody will hold on to these until they create a real problem. And that's already happening. So I'm a certified arborist with the ISA, International Society of Arboriculture. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about coral ardesia. Coral ardesia is an invasive species of plant that was introduced here as Christmas berry. It's sold online on Amazon and other various places. It is very prolific. The seeds have like a 95% germination rate. And when it gets into an area, it strangles the area. All as you can see in this whole area is nothing but coral ardesia. Coral ardesia has no ecological benefit other than it sequesters a tiny bit of carbon. At what cost? At the cost of reducing the success rate of all of the trees that provide the actual canopy that we depend on here in Florida. And when I say a 95% success rate, this is what I'm talking about. Almost every berry that falls is successful. And these turn into new plants almost every time. And they require so little sunlight to grow that it leaves no opportunities for the understory trees. Understory trees in an area where coral ardesia has been established for a long period of time are pretty much non-existent. So when I was a child, I used to wander through the woods like any, uh, you know, any kid in Florida does. Just part of, you know, being a Floridian. This is what we do. We like the outdoors. We like to be out in the wild. So one day, I was probably about 10 years old. I found a stump that was sticking up about that high, you know. I wanted to do some karate, so I kicked it over. Not thinking anything about it. I made it probably about five foot, and I noticed that both legs were covered in ticks. So just in case you guys don't know, uh, ticks and other insects do like to live in these dead stumps so they're habitat by a lot of different other animals and creatures so be careful what you're doing out here. science guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. But uh, yeah there's a lot of trash in this um, here bird nest. But these birds actually like this uh, material so what I'm going to do is actually just put this nest back in the tree so that way if a bird wants to it can reuse it. It probably won't a lot of times they just make new nests but they may scrounge some of these uh, materials and reuse them in nature. Just putting this public service announcement out there to maybe educate a few people who have run across coral ardesia. If you've been in Florida and you've been outside, you've run across coral ardesia. If it's in your own yard, be a good steward of the land and get rid of this stuff and put something native that might help benefit pollinators. Add the understory trees that the coral ardesia is competing with and replacing. and perhaps provide some other beauty besides some invasive berries that just have no right to be here. There's no poisonous snakes in Florida. There's no poisonous snakes in general. They're all venomous. All of them. Every single snake. What is this? What is this? Poisonous snakes. <laughs> Fucking idiots what they are. How you doing? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do what we can to preserve the great outdoors, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I was going to eat this loquat, which I did eat a few loquats. Inside of there, there was like an ant colony living inside of there. Pretty cool. This is really as close as I can get to the bee colony without doing this stupid show.